Hey guys, this is Dirk from Crypto FYI. Today we're going to do a short introduction and tutorial on an awesome little tool called Eth Control. Uh, this tool allows you to manage multiple mining rigs remotely. Uh, you can change algorithms when profitability changes and uh, do a couple of other nifty little things with it, such as fan control as well as uh, overclock profiles. It's got a lot of features, but mainly what myself and my colleague Crow are using it for is just the quick switching between algorithms uh, when we feel there is a need to do this. This can be done remotely. Um, we do it through a web interface or or also the mobile apps um, it saves us a lot of time we, we used to spend a couple of hours a week um, making some changes on our rigs we are now changing all of our rigs on the fly um, real quick couple of minutes and all of them are running uh, on the new algorithm and we can change back and forth as we as we see fit it's also a lot of information that the console can give you such as the temperature of your GPUs um, etc etc um, so let's have a look at this tool and how this can assist you As with any service, you would need to start off by registering for Eth Control. You would do that by going to ethmonitoring.com. All you need to register is a username, an email, and a password. Once you've done that, you would be able to access your dashboard. Upon your first visit, the dashboard may look a little bit confusing. Nothing to worry about. There's no real information of use for you on your first visit. You may want to visit the guide on the top right. Something interesting on that page that I have found is um, extra information they give with regards to Claymore, EWBF, CC Miner, and ZMDSTM. You may want to have a look at that if you have problems setting that up. The main thing that you want to definitely have a look at upon visiting it the first time is the premium ordering page. Your first rig for F control is free. You would, however, need to pay for the rigs after that first one. They go at $2 a month and there is a discount should you take for a longer period of time. They accept crypto payments, ETH, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Zek, and also via PayPal should you wish to. What is really nice, if you go down a little bit, you will see all the pools that they support for revenue monitoring. There's a lot of pools there. Bitcoin Mining Pool, hub, uh, mining pool Hub, NiceAsh, Zpool, Zergpool, lots of pools. Um, so you can see exactly how much money you are making on a daily basis with your rigs. So now we get to the fun part, which is setting up your miner or miners, so you can take advantage of all the features of Eth Control. We're going to do that by clicking on Eth Control at the top. Now, normally, this is where you would have your mining setups, like you would normally have in your bat file of your CC miner or your EWBF miner. You're going to see the instructions here at the bottom, telling you to please download this file here and install that on your Windows PC. You can also get that from the GitHub page where you can find the latest build. If you would download that, install that, it should bring up this little application here. Now you'll see that I've mined a little bit earlier using this, so just ignore everything you see here. You can see here your setup of your mining rigs. You can see I've got four GTX 1070s in this one. Um, and you'll be able to see how much power they're pulling, their fan speed, the temperature and so forth. Over here in the console, you'll be able to get more information. It would show you when it's downloading a miner or some other information that you may find useful. You would need to put in a rig name at the top. I'm just going to call this one Miner03 as that's my setup and mining pool hub, which is what I'll be using. And you would need an access token. The access token you can find by going to your account on the ETH monitoring page. You'll find that right at the top here and that's what you're going to need to insert there. 
So I've copied that and I'm going to insert that into the F control application and I'm going to say, tell it to start immediately. You'll see it's going to show here starting F control, pulling configuration changes. It's going to tell you there's no configuration at this moment and you would need to set that up on fmonitoring.com. So let's go ahead and set up a configuration that you will do under the F control tab and clicking the red button here, add new config. Here you will be able to create a new folder. So should you have multiple configurations for multiple different algorithms and coins, you can sort them nicely. Here you can put in a name. I'm going to be doing Equiash on Mining Pool Hub using the B miner. Under mining, you will select your miner that you want to use. It'll auto complete a basic command at the bottom here. I'll take that out and I'll use my own that I've already got ready for mining pool hub. If you do not have this, you'll be able to find that by Googling it or checking out on the actual pool that you'll be using. If you have mined before, you'll probably find that in your bat file of the miner that you used and you can just use that in here as well. What you should also be doing is have a look at some of the options here at the top. You can see there's a MSI afterburner option so you can connect this with MSI afterburner for overclocking profiles and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and save this one so long. Yes, we've checked everything. I also just want to set up the profit monitoring as well, which I did not do now. And here profit monitoring, you can select your coin as this is Equihash. I'm going to go with Bitcoin gold for um, profit monitoring just so that I can see how much I'm making per day. So once this is done, it's going to show you your setup, your one configuration that you have. This is where you can add as many as you like. So should you want to mine NeoScript, you can add another configuration for NeoScript. And should you want to change from, let's say, Equihash, which I'll be trying first to NeoScript next week, you could just go under bulk update and select the miner that you want to update to that particular one and click save. Once you've done that, your miner will update and it'll be mining the new coin. So I've just updated this one to do Equihash for us. So let's have a look at our F control app. You're going to see there's going to be some things starting here in a moment and hopefully our mining operations will start in a moment. says please start mining from web console let's go have a look under miners has it not started i have bulk updated it you can see here is your miner there's nothing happening here let's click on this yellow button here and this should update here and tell us exactly what's going on here please start mining from web console and you'll find the button at the top here start mining. So once I push that, I click on OK. It should send the command to F control and our miner should start running. Let's have a look, see if that is happening. Mining process has started using B miner and we're going to see it's going to start running here. I have seen this error before get error authorization failed resetting in five seconds that took a while and then it it went through so just maybe be patient and it should start working after after a bit and you're going to see the speed that you're mining at um, and all the information you possibly need if you go back under miners You'll see here it's a green little tick next to your miner now. You can click on that and it's going to start showing you what speed you're mining at, your fan speed, your GPU's temperature and how much it's pulling. So this is looking good. This miner should be up and running. Um, you're also going to get the same information here. You can see 
exactly how fast you're mining the area should have disappeared and um, we're good to go so now we're mining everything's running really nicely there you can see the temperatures over here you can see it's running at full speed fan is on 70 percent how much power it's pulling everything is looking great and this miner is ready to go should you have multiple miners they would all be listed here nicely below each other and you can click on each one and configure them so that guys is the basic setup for a single miner the main thing that you want to keep in mind here is add as many configurations as possible one for equash one for neoscript whichever algorithm you like so that when you do get to a stage where you quickly want to change to another algorithm that you're on a position to do that without having to put in the command there should you have set up multiple algorithms there it would literally just be the click of a button so on your cell phone app you would just say i want to now use this algorithm and set this as my new configuration and it would update all your rigs you can do one rig you can do all your rigs all of them done within a few seconds just a quick overview of some other things you will see here that's the app over here that you can find in the play store and also uh, for ios you can see the screenshots here it's nicely laid out gives you your gpu information here how much it's doing the temperatures everything here you can download and install it from the play store and the apple store as well something else to keep in mind is you can set up your pools here for profit monitoring as well so clicking at the pools here at the top you can choose the pool type mining pool hub is a bitcoin pool and you would put in your address and you're ready to go and it'll show you how much dollars you're making every day you can also set up notifications really important and an awesome part of this software notifications via sms telegram and push notifications should you install that app from the play store it'll notify you via push notifications And that is it guys that's how you set up your rigs to run with f control and give you the option to quickly change between different algorithms on the go nice and clean little app with lots of information getting your speeds fan speeds easy control easy changes between algorithms um, and push notifications you can set those to, uh, those up to notify you when your rigs are getting too hot when they're not running all types of information you can get through push notifications with this this has been dirk for crypto fyi please hit link and subscribe at the bottom we will be uploading quite a few tutorials as well and some information master node tutorials also coming in the next um, couple of weeks so stay tuned and thank you for tuning in